Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Andy with Acme Packs, and I welcome each and every one of you back for a new video. Today we get to take an early first look at one of my personal favorite products. It's a very expensive, very high risk, very high reward product, and it's going to be 2023 Obsidian first off the line. Let's get into it. So I'm very excited to bring this to you guys a day before release. This comes out on Wednesday. This is the first off the line version. So we're going to have a few bonuses in here. So these dropped at Dutch auction on Panini's website. I think it was like 800 down to like 400 or something. They ended up selling out, out at 591, which is right around where that pre-sale price was. Um, I have to believe that the pre or the, when this does go live as a standard hobby, it should be in that like 550 ish ish range. Um, very good product. I like the way it looks. However, it is one of those hit or miss products. Um, only seven cards per box, one pack per box, very high risk. And I absolutely love this product. I know it's not for everyone. It is very expensive. It is it is a tough rip and I'm fully expecting to not make my money back today. But again, I absolutely love the look of these cards. Obsidian is one of my favorite sets. For whatever reason, it really doesn't get the love on the secondary market that a lot of other products do. It's kind of like Spectra, where it is a kind of a upper middle tier product, but does, never does well on the secondary market for whatever reason. And normally the cards are tougher to grade because they do have a black exterior. They are thicker. So that's kind of what you're getting out of here. So 591 if you got it at the floor after tax it was 625 um seven cards per pa uh, pack one pack per box you get four autographs or memorabilia cards in that obsidian always does that um i've seen boxes with well from last year i've seen boxes with three autographs with two autographs never less than two autographs though and for the first off the line we do get a bonus of a first off the line rpa number 230 if it's a purple flood or out of three, if it is a um, Neon Mojo or like a Neon Flood, I think is what they're called. So, got a new parallel in Deep Sea Mojo. Those are number two, five. And then case hit inserts are Vitreous, Volcanics, and then Black Color Blast is going to be the big one that you're looking for out here. I can only assume that the CJ Stroud in a low number or in the Black Color Blast is going to be your big hit in this um and the color blasts are vertical this year i did not see a horizontal um on the back but if you guys want to take a look for, <laughs> through this very very extensive checklist kind of crazy but you have lots of different parallels in here um 200 car base card 42 rookie jersey autographs number two 199 or less ours is going to be much less than that but without any further ado let's get into it show you guys what you can expect if you get are getting into one of these yourselves again i love this product I love the way the cards look, but I it is high. I am fully expecting not to make my money back. This is a for me type of rip. So it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. I I, I really can't stress enough how much I love this product. Okay, if I can get that right. Okay, gonna bring in a filler here because don't want to spoil the fun. I know a lot of you guys you know would just rather me flip through this. But I like to enjoy my rips. And if you guys enjoy the new release content, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe. It really helps me out and keeps the channel going. So I believe it is two... Oh, wow, we got a lot of thick cards in here. Oh, my. Um, so back is going to be our insert. I believe we have our two uh, parallels on the front. So let's go to the insert first, which is on the back. That's going to be an Orbital Sam Howell. Ouch. <laughs> uh, that's a really, really nice looking card, though. I could see these going for quite a bit. That is 24 out of 35. If, if this is the right player, that's going for quite a bit. I like how it's like a 3D-ish look. Very nice looking card. Okay. Ooh. Looks like we have a Purple Flood. So that's going to be to uh, 13 is going to be our first off the line parallel. So Brian Breesey is going to be our rookie there. 36 out of 49. We're going to really need something big to um, to help us out on this one off of those first two cards. But we'll see. Brian Breesey there. And then our first off the line is going to be Clayton Toon. So we got a rookie quarterback, 
Unfortunately, it is not the right one. That's going to be to 13. 10 of 13. I like the design this year. Um, a lot of people like it more clean. Um, like last year or the year before, they started like putting the etched design in the background. I don't know how I feel about that. I like more of a cleaner look with this product. Okay, now we are getting into our MEMS, I believe. And then our last card should be our autograph, I would assume. So we've got a Jonathan Taylor here to 25 with no chunk. <laughs> 25 there, no chunk, unfortunately. Let's even see if that's like game worn or, or not game worn, player worn. Uh, not from any specific game or event, but that is three of 25 there. Okay, should have a second MEM here. JSN to 25. I can't. Seahawks have the, some of the coolest patches. And for this to be out of 25 and not have anything of that, <laughs> that, that hurts. That hurts. I, I was really expecting a cool patch there. Especially because these are all just Walmart rack. 21 of 25 there. Okay. Um, I don't know which one's going to be my first off the line RPA, but let's just go through it. Gonna have Tank Bigsby here out of 199. So we got two RPAs in this, or rookie jersey autos. So Tank Bigsby. We're gonna need a really big card here. Hopefully it's one for my PC. That's what I really want. So that's our, our uh, first auto. Oh boy, wish me luck. <laughs> See a dark blue. It's probably gonna be a bear, isn't it? UAN. Will Anderson? Are we two days in a row of Will Anderson? 28 of 30 there. And that one looks nice. That is a nice patch there. And that is a lot more consistent with this autograph than what I saw in my limited booklet. So definitely, probably on the lower end of boxes, unfortunately for me. Um, this is nice. I'm a big fan of this card, but did I get $625 back? No, I definitely did not. So Will Anderson out of 30 on the purple flood there. Tank Bigsby on the Jersey Auto. Got a JSN on the cutting edge. It's sharpened. Jonathan Taylor there. A Clayton Toon on the purple flood. Brian Breesey to 49. And then a Sam Howell to 25. I don't know, maybe he'll be good. Um, maybe he'll be the long-term starter for the sea chickens. But that's going to do for this one. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I really do like this product. It is a tough rip and it is very expensive. So, you know, buyer beware on this one. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.